Hey, what's up everyone? Olin here, and today I'm going to be making a bookshelf from this box fan frame. Now, um, I came up with the idea because I picked up a lot of these box fan frames, and people throw them out because maybe the fan doesn't work, maybe the motor stopped running, or whatever, and I have a lot of motors, and I plan to put them in good homes, but... This box fan frame, all it is is just a piece of steel. So what I'm doing here, I'm cutting it in half. And I'm going to be removing those bars that hold the motor in place. So what I end up having is two U-shaped uh, pieces of metal. Now, when I'm cutting these in half, I'm just cutting it straight down the mill. I don't want to worry about exposing the metal for brazing uh, right now. There you go, I have one side done. Nah. Alright, it's just about done. You can see it coming apart right here. Um, I'm a bit careful because this grinder, it's far from safe, but it's what I got, alright? So, yeah. There you go, it's coming apart. Um, and I have two shaped, uh, U-shaped pieces of metal, and I'm just cleaning off the edges here so they're not as sharp because you don't want those edges to be digging into your books. Alright, here I go. I'm starting to uh, take off the paint that's on the bottom. So that shiny side right there, that's going to be the side um, that I plan to be brazing. Again, remember that the key to a good braze is that your materials are clean, shiny as possible, alright? That's why I'm doing it there. So, here... Um, the opposite side, it has a little piece of metal sticking out, so I'm just taking it off little by little. The sparks are flying everywhere, okay? So I want to stress if you try this at home and you're not comfortable with angle grinding, you get yourself a guard, you get yourself a, a handle and you clamp the piece you're working with, um, and this you can't see as well. You get yourself a pressure switch. So the angle grinder I have right now, it has a switch you toggle on and off. Well, the problem with that is, if somewhere it happened to me to where I couldn't be angle grinding anymore and I let go of it, well, it's still going to be running for as long as it's plugged in and switched on. Well, if you have like a pressure switch, that angle grinder is going to stop working as soon as you let go of it, alright? That's the safer option. Alright, so back to this. Um, I'm just about done. Uh, you see that piece of uh, metal strip hanging on. And that's the thing you want to know too. You don't always need to go for a clean cut. Uh, you can leave it um, mostly cut and just wiggle your piece of metal back and forth and it's going to bend its way out of, uh, bend it to where you can remove it. Okay, so this is my ang other angle grinder I got. And I use it because it works with this, uh, cup brush. This piece of metal, it's from the side of a washing machine or dryer. I don't remember which. But the thing is, it's got this powder coating, right? Powder coating, it's very difficult to remove by mechanical means. But I'm still doing it. Um, I just want to remove it as best as I can, but the best way to remove it is just by burning it off with like a torch. Um, I'm doing it here so not only do I remove the paint uh, so my braze goes a little bit better, but I'm also removing it so I have an idea of how I want to lay out 
my U-shaped pieces of metal for the backs of the bookshelf. So it's just taking a little bit of time. Um, as you can see, I have about the front done, part of the side, and it's just a lot of work. Um, so yeah, I'm going with the side of the brush too. I found that worked a little bit better because when you're spinning a circle really fast, you have centrifugal force, so your force go goes outward. So, um, anyway, that's physics. Now I'm on to brazing, and as you can see, I already brazed um, two of those U-shaped pieces of metal. Um, here I am brazing those pieces of metal to the metal you saw me stripping earlier, right? Um, my only critique is next time I'd have a little bit more back support because even though this is all steel metal, uh, the, I found that the U-shaped pieces of metal, they bent a little bit. Now as you can see, I'm putting my table on top too because whenever you heat up sheet metal, it starts to bend. So I want to make this as flat as possible. And even though brazing it'll fill in gaps it's easier to fill in smaller gaps than bigger gaps so um, that's why I'm putting weight now now here you can see me prime everything I also cut off that sheet of mail right saved a bunch of time recording radio and here's me trying out the bookshelf um, I put a little yoga mat uh, for a little at the bottom and that's it, alright? If you like the video, leave a comment, like it, or subscribe, alright? Catch you next time.